Hello there everyone, it's SoulServe17 here, and let me get through this like usual. So, I made this what if last night, and surprisingly, I've gotten a lot of likes and four dislikes, and a lot of people watched this, along with one person who said they didn't like how I made Goku Black turn good. But the thing is, did I ever say he turned good? I said his body... You know, Goku's body was influencing him. Doesn't mean he turned good. Influence is different from him turning into good. And so, you know, I just want to put that out there. He is not good. He is not good nor evil in this one. He's just basically in between. He's just neutral. Basically, I'm making him not hate humanity well you know humans no more but at the same time he hates them he doesn't and he does because well he still can't you know he knows humans kill now and since he's living as naruto life they've been mistreating him as such so he hates them but at the same time he knows what's inside of him so he cannot blame them he's living a mortal life which is new for him, so he's experiencing how mortals live. That is why he is not gonna be like all like the whole entire basically killing all humanity thing. Because you know he's just living a, a mortal life now. So he's gonna experience what it is. I'm making it where he thinks experiencing a mortal life could be good to see if they really were as what I thought they were. Dis you know, disgusting, vile creatures. So yeah, that's why he's living this mortal life and he's not doing anything. Also, yes, I know about, like, they comment about the Dell learned in a week. Yes, but I never saw Zamasu train that much as a, you know, Kai and Kai's, you know, our guardians of, like, you know, there's God, the God destruction, so God creation. He's able to create stuff. You know, he's able to create anything he needs. I'm making it, but, yeah. So, here's the thing. Zamas I never saw Zamasu trained that much. So, or at all, actually. So, I don't know if he, how strong he really is. So, to him, training is a little bit difficult. So, that's why I made it where it, he starts... He trains his body first. And then he starts to work on, you know, key. The, the only thing is, though, that took him a while to fly. Because he was he was able to, you know, use his key. Basically, while he was training his body to enhance it. So, the flying took a little bit, you know, while. He really knew how to access it, just not to fly yet. So, he worked on that for a little bit. But he took his time to understand and know, know about it. So, yeah. So, if anyone like wants to complain how I'm doing this, go ahead. Come on. Read, leave in the comments on how much you hate this what if. I don't mind. I don't care. I'm saying tell you straight up. If you don't want to watch it, go somewhere else. Because this is a what if scenario. This is a what if. So, that means I have full control over what I want. If you don't like the direction of the character, you know, is going, too bad. You can just watch one of my other what-ifs or, you know, go to another channel and watch their what-ifs. If, you know, these, just type in, what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Goku Black? And you, you see how they done it. Alright, I mean, I looked that up, there is plenty. But, you know, I'm doing it differently. I think, I don't really know, I didn't watch any of those. Well, actually, yeah, I really didn't. But anyway, so, so yeah, I'm just saying. I'm making him be in a neutral territory. He is still going to be killing humans. Well, you know, humanity. People, mortals, basically. He's still going to have divine key. Also, I should point out, I'm taking a suggestion of somebody left saying he should be 50% San and 50% Kai. And then I should give him Master Ultra Instinct. So, and he should have all forms of Super Saiyans. 
So, yes, I am giving him all of that. So now, <clears throat> I shall tell you, not, well, aka, you know, Bl Goku Black, aka Naruto, aka Zamasu, who's somehow 50% Saiyan and 50% Kai. You know, they say Supreme Kai's, you know, all that. So, he is going now in this. He's gonna master some things. Also, I'm giving him a tail. You wanna fight me? <laughs> Come on at me. I'm giving him it. I did like the idea of giving him all the forms of Super Saiyan. That means we even go with the non canon GT <laughs> version. Also, it actually would work. I mean, it actually would work a lot better since technically the Saiyan's tail holds most of their power, their true power within them. So, it could actually make Goku's Super Saiyan Blue and, well, Goku's Black Super Saiyan Blue plus Super Saiyan Rose form be a lot more powerful. And imagine, Naruto, I mean, Goku Black, Super Saiyan 4, Rose. OP. <laughs> but I am going to have him work at it. This is all about building him up to be strong. So I want and also give him a little bit of an insight on humanity. And also meet Goku and Vegeta again. Which I am bringing them in along with freaking Beerus. And all that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm bringing characters in. You want to have a problem with that? Like I said, you can leave a comment. And I'll just make a video and just explain it to everyone. Alright? Well, I'll just leave a comment to you. But, yeah, I was saw this morning, that comment, I was just like, I did not, well, not the suggestion, more like the person who basically made a rant saying how they didn't like where the direction I made Goku Black go. So, yeah, I mean, I was not in the mood for that in the morning, it was too early. But anyways, let's get into this, what if, what if now? And I am sorry for ranting on, my apologies. Also, Naruto, not, not Naruto, Asa, Son of Spartan, Son of Sparta, coming out today. I'm making that at least one episode, and it's going to be an hour and 30 minutes long, and I'm not going to make this any longer than I have to. So yeah, anyways, let's get into this. So this is what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Goku Black. So, as Go as Black is basically going on the, you know, their D-ranked missions, he is basically finding the cat with ease. He found it with the cat with ease, and he was helping out the villagers and such. He has realized, even more now, that mortals' life is hard. It is very difficult. He is somewhat glad, actually, he didn't want to do the same thing he was doing with his other self. He learned how they lived, and what their worth is. As he remembered his master saying, watching them from afar... Like they, he did in the, the 10th universe. As he realized, he, for him to actually understand what his master meant, he should have at least worked with them a little bit to understand them better. But it was against law of you know the Supreme Kais. And so, he's just walking. And he's just holding the cat. Basically, the cat was like trying to scratch him. And he just let it. And then he healed himself. And then he created just something for the cat. Like, um... A yarn ball. Which the cat just started playing with it immediately. While it hits in his hand. Well, in his arm. So, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi go like, Where did you get the yarn ball? He goes, oh, I made it. And then he just leaves with the cat in his arms. And so, you know, they're like wondering what the... Sasuke has been, you know, slowly become his friend and all that. And, well... Naruto's sister, Nakura, has... Been hearing about what Naruto has done. Well, Goku Black has done. And she is kind of pissed. He did sort of been like... He was acting like the class loser. Always turning his sheet and Just always has the teacher to write the grade actually on paper. And then, like, in the books of his actual score. But then his paper says something else. Which, 
the, you know, hit Uru, not Uruka. Uruka sent Uruka basically told Minato what his son asked him to do, and he didn't understand why, so he explained it. But he wants his sister to basically <coughs> think that she is all powerful, and that's it, which Minato under, kind of understood. So yeah, but anyways. As, you know, he returns the cat, they are, you know, there. Nakura's team. It's just some random kids in the class that we never really saw of. Say, so like, the background characters. And she goes, oh, look, it's my older brother, Naruto. And he just just looks at her and goes, hello, Nakura. How are you today? You know, how was your mission today? And basically, Nakura says, it was fine. How about you? He goes, Eh, it was easy. The cat basically was pretty easy to track. And um, Minato was just there, just smiling. And Nakura goes like, huh, Why, did Sasuke-kun get it? And, you know, Sakura looks at her with glaring. As Naruto just says, and says, No, I did. Sasuke was too slow. No offense. And Sasuke says, No problem, Naruto. So, yeah. Which, Sakura doesn't understand why he's kind to Naruto. Sasuke just submits, saying, like, he's stronger than me. Not gonna lie. I mean, I was arrogant. And then when he beat me, I kind of started following him around, truthfully, as Naruto goes, I mean, as Goku Black says, really, you started following me around? Hmm. I never noticed. As he goes, wait, what, you you noticed? He goes, yes, idiot. I did. I wasn't dumb enough to actually not notice you. Heck, even my own father followed me. And I even noticed him. Your keys are just way too, way too noticeable. He, he said that out loud. He goes, what? He goes, ah, never mind. Same thing as Chakra, but way different. Way more stronger, or should I say, potent for the body and able to do much more. As Sasuke doesn't get it, but Minato says, <coughs> Naruto, I'm going to give your team seven. Kakashi, Sasuke Uchiha, Naruto, Uzumaki. And Sakura Haruno, a C rank, a C rank mission. I think it's about time you, you know, go on one. And this is the Tazuna one. But the client needs to be, you know, there in a, about a day or so. So, Naruto, would you, as he said, just get them a metal, just have them go onto a metal platform or something. I'll fly them over, which that surprises everyone. He goes, what? And so, you know, basically, Goku Black does not want to, like, deal with this. So, he, when, you know, Don, not Don's, when Tazuna comes in, he says something, the exact same thing. And when he sees Naruto, he just tells that he's a lot stronger than everyone else here. So, he goes, I like this kid. And <laughs> Goku Black just smiles. He says, thank you. So, you know, he, uh. They leave, you know, because Kakashi says they're going to have to get supplies and such. Since, uh, the fourth Hokage, Minato says Naruto here can just fly us there? As he's confused, he goes, I'll explain everything later. So, yeah. So. Wait, actually, I need to check out something real quick. Give me a minute. Alright, I'm back. But anyways, so, yeah, I was just checking to see if anyone made a comment on something. But no. So, anyways, so after everyone gets their supplies, Kushina meets um, food for Naruto. Well, Magic Goku Black and everything. She says, "Be safe, sweetie." And Nakura was kind of pissed, so she comes in right when he's leaving. So it's just like a day, you know. Basically, they're getting their supplies. They're not, you know, taking much time, and all. So basically, Nakura comes in and goes, "Why is Dad giving you a C rank mission, not me? I'm better than you." No, I'm stronger, I'm faster, I'm, I'm, and then he just pats her forehead, he goes, Dear sister, do you really believe you are? Have you never noticed I've been gone for multiple hours a day, not in the village, and I'm somewhere else, and I come back with, wo not wounds, but scratch marks, my clothes are sometimes ripped, and I am sometimes bleeding? <laughs> No, you never noticed, because you deem me to be weak, pathetic, 
and yet here you are. You never fought me. You never battled me. And you claim that I am. Well, Sasuke, at the time when we fought as children, at eight to nine years old, I believe, couldn't even lay a finger on me. Now, I suggest you rethink what you keep saying about me. Understand. As he just starts having his key, you know, starting to flow off of him. And would you knock her, knock her out just, just, just feeling like she really needs to, she should listen to him. And she just nods her head. He goes, all right, I'll be off then. And he just le- he just leaves the room. He says goodbye to Nakura and and you know Kushina. You know, Kushina is just saying that's my boy, <laughs> and all that. Also, if you guys are technically wondering, um, I'm kind of making it where like his whole entire being there's like more than like one part when I said like he's fifty percent, you know, saying and then Kai. So. And that makes sense that he, you know, basically, even though he was supposed to be like Uzumaki Namakaze, the gene pool kind of, I mean, well, since he was reincarnated, it kind of, you know, his deity energy, then the same DNA and everything else did come along with him when he was reincarnated. That's why I'm doing it. Before he went, again, the comment saying, oh, that's not possible. Super Shenron. Super Dragon Balls, Super Shenron. You know, Super, you know, Shenron, basically. Anything is possible. I'm just saying it. Anything's possible. And, well, I was trying to explain this at first, but I wanted to get into the video. So, he is still Uzumaki, but he doesn't have Chakra, and the the Divine Key is basically the reason why he can handle the Ninetale Fox Chakra, along with the Super Saiyan genes. So, I mean, not the Super Saiyan, with the Saiyan genes and everything. So, yeah. And I'm I I just realized I should really said that before I explained it more, but just in case, um, I'm just explaining it even more now in this part. I mean, this right now. Anyway, so so yeah, so you know he's they all like walk along to being the friend of the village and such. You know they ask how many supplies do they have. He just says he has a whole bunch of food on him, but you know he's okay. He can survive just with like fighting off some wild animals and such and. You know, eating them and such. Which, Sasuke just says, Okay, I, I mean, you go hunt on your own, right? You Yes. Do you kill the animals and eat them without a fire? No. I'm not an animal. As Sasuke just laughs a little. And then when Goku Pai goes, Wait, I'm an ape. You know, since I, Goku should have a tail with the Saiyans. Wait. Can I still... Can I grow the tail? Hmm. A Saiyan's true power could be awakened because of that. So that means my Super Saiyan powers could be even stronger than before. <laughs> Interesting. This would be amazing if I could. So I'll try it. So, you know... So basically, um... Everyone, you know, when, they get, when they're all like at the gates, Minato's there... And he has like a metal platform for their for them to get on. Basically, it's on like wooden beams, and they all like like steps. And Goku Black would basically have to get like underneath and just fly over. I mean, you know, basically lift it up. As Sakura is saying, like, how is he gonna be able to do that? He can't fly. It's impossible to fly without you know having these specific chakra or natures to use it as the hidden stone village. Like, Kaze, I mean, uh, they're, you know, they're Kage, the Stone Village Kage. You know, that, from Naruto Shippuden, you know, old guy, basically. As, you know, Minato just tells her, just shush. My son is way more stronger than you. Actually, technically, he's way more stronger than anyone in this village. So, if I were you, I'd just be quiet. He just... Had enough because Nakra was like yelling at him for giving that loser and that weakling a, you know, mission that was a C rank, and not her. Basically, she was being a ten having a temp 
temper tantrum. So yeah, so everyone gets onto the platform and he just tells them, all right, use your chakra to keep your feet on the on the metal platform. This won't be bumpy, but I could lose my balance. You could lose your balance if you shift the weight too much. As they all like going, all right. So you know they all go onto the metal platform and you know Goku Block gets underneath it. He lifts it up and he says, he looks at well, he basically turns his head to the left to like glance at Minato from behind. He goes like, well, father, I'll see you around. And as he says, be careful, as he flies, you know, he basically just starts flying. As everyone was in shock by this, but not Minato. Because he knows by now, he knows it. He just, and everyone like in the village who saw Naruto took off, well, Goku Bot took off and they see Naruto. But basically, you know, they know it's Naruto basically... And that's his name in this one. I'm really having trouble. Should I just say Goku Black Black or just Naruto? Yeah, freak it. Okay, so when I say Naruto, I mean Goku Black. All right, we all know this. I'm, I'm getting tired of saying it. I don't know what to say. So, yeah. So, anyways, as everyone sees Naruto takes off and all, they're all shot by this. So one of the ninjas asks us for Fukage, when can Naruto do that? He says, "Oh." Actually, he's, he was always been able to do it. And that shot, as he's just walking along, just like it's casual. So, yeah. So, they don't fight the Demon Brothers. And though Sakura says, Hey, uh, Naruto, can you, uh, you know, stop, you know, flying so we can have a, so we can eat? He goes, Oh, sure, no problem, Sakura. And, you know, he does like the scent down and lands and brings down the platform. As he goes, all right, everyone. Well, we don't really need this anymore since we're very close by. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be good. As he basically just like puts a key into his hand and throws up the metal, well, you know, the, the metal platform and just shoots it, and it just disintegrates, which everyone. Freaking out a little bit on the inside. Sasuke, even though he he wanted to try to get the strength, he says, uh, I can never do that to himself in his head. And, you know, basically a fog, though, starts to roll in. And so, go, well, Naruto just says, Oh, great, an ambush. All right, so everyone, I'll handle this just... Protect the, you know, Tazana. Alright. I need a good kill. As he cracks his neck and starts to stretch. And all. So, he though has his eyes closed and he can sense somebody, senses people's key, two people's key. One's in the book and one's in the trees all across the water, I mean, all across the river. And there's one nearby that feels like he has an object that he's throwing. So, Kakashi hears this time he wanted to duck. As, you know, Naruto just still has his eyes closed. As then, right when the blade gets near him, he catches it in mid-air. And he's just holding on to it. And he goes, So, an enemy. Here to kill somebody here. Who is it? Hmm? As you know, as Zabaza comes onto the tree, dispelling the fog, and says, How were you able to catch it? He goes, Oh, this? It was quite easy. As then he just suddenly puts a little bit of pressure as the blade just cracked. He goes, Oh, my apologies. I forget how strong I am. As... He's basically just walking over calmly. He knows how powerful he is. He's remember he's remembered all the teachings. He's able to well to well he's able to calmly think of situations that could go down. He's saying, Should I kill this mortal? It would be like old times, but I want to see what his worth is. So he just did cut the... I mean, he did broke, like, the tip of it. And then 
he basically asks, what is this blade called? And, Ta- I mean, not Tazana, as Danza says, that's it. Not Danza, freak. Uh, Zavaza, I meant Zavaza. Man, sorry. So much, so many stuff has happened in my head right now, sorry. But as Zavaza says, says, that's the executioner blade. And basically, someone's blood can, you know, make it, you know, become, I mean, grow right back. As in, he says, oh, really? So, he basically cuts his hand and, well, not all, just like palm. He basically puts the edge on it and it cu- he basically decreases his key so that way it could. And then he starts having his blood drip onto the blade, which everyone's seen this. And he, they, he starts to see the blade is growing. He goes, interesting. I believe they could always regenerate itself. Quite fascinating. As he throws it to Zabza, he goes, Now then, let us fight. As he gets into a fight stance with no weapons, as Zabza says, Kid, you're gonna need a weapon. He goes like, Oh, please, don't tell me I'm gonna need something where a weapon will be insufficient on in taking you down. And this is a test to see how strong you are. So, please, don't disappoint me. But... This evil smile on his face, which Zabaza just thinks this kid's crazy, but he goes, Oh well, gonna kill him now, basically. So Zabaza tries, well, well, he basically makes the fog as he, as basically then, you know, Naruto closes his eyes to sense his key. And when he feels he gets near him, and uh, he knows Zabaza's gonna come in for attack. So he waits until he hears the movement of the sword, and he dodges it. So he was going for a side slash. Basically, he started from the right, and he basically he moves over to the right more, dodging it. And then he kicks Zabaza in the stomach. And with that one kick, he knew how, you know, basically Zabaza's body was weak and all to him. So he decreased his key, so that way he would survive. He's holding back against his enemies. And he does, like, set him flying. He basically says, you know, this trick of yours won't work on me. So, come at me. So Sabaza starts to make multiple jutsus. You know, basically, water dragon jutsu, water boat, water clones. And Naruto just easily dodges the water bullet. The water drying, he just kicks it away with the wind pressure alone. And then with the water clones, instantly he's gone and they're all just broken. Like, they all just turn to water. He goes, you do have some promise, some worth. So... As basically he says, as of that, I will show you my true power. But first, let me explain something to you. As in, he basically says, this is my base form. He goes, what? <sighs> my base form, how I originally look. And then this, as then he transformed to a Super Saiyan, saying, is a Super Saiyan. And then this, as then he says, you know, he goes in Super Saiyan 2. Is a Super Saiyan beyond Super Saiyan. You know, or we call it Super Saiyan 2. He's just doing the exact same thing while he did the boo, basically. And then he says, and this. Instead of, you know, saying, you know, going beyond, he says, this is a Super Saiyan 3, as he just shows it. And then there's a power beyond this. As then all of a sudden, he starts closing his eyes. As then, red flames are starting to come off of him. Basically, you know, red key. As then his hair goes red, his eyes are red. And he says, this is Super Saiyan God. And then he goes to blue. You know, but there's even a form beyond, well, not beyond, on the same level as this. As then he said, as you know, basically the whole entire thing with the, what Super Saiyan 3 does. But in a, sorry, in a less, you know, ex- Longer screaming fest of everything happening. It only happens in like a few short minutes, like two minutes or such. And then he says, And this 
is Super San Rose. But everyone felt the power that he emerged. Basically, just it was shocking to them. I like, it felt like the whole earth was shaking, and everyone could feel it all around, like the well, the the you know five nations, not nations. There's the five villages, five or six or seven. Give me a minute, I need to search up so I, I forget now. I always forget these. Just five hidden villages you can all feel this, which is shocking them. They go, what what power is this? And, you know, they try to feel it, and they don't know. So, he goes, so do you really think you can defeat me along with your partner over there? As he points to where, you know, uh, Kavad? No, no, Kavad. Did I really forget his name? Did I really forget his name? Well, I think in a, a her. Okay, a minute now. God. Haku. Jeez, how did I forget Haku? You know, as Haku you know, comes out of the trees. And it is a girl. I'm making it, I'm making he a girl. So yeah, as Haku, you know, comes on to like the water and starts saying, how did you? He goes, I can sense your life force, your key or chakra, as you will. And, you know, he just says, he asks Zabasa, why are you attacking us? Is it because of the bridge builder? As he says, yes, we were hired to kill him by a man named Gato. As then, you know, just as he goes, <laughs> mortals and their worth of money. It's always amusing to me, but I'm sorry, I cannot allow you to kill him. So, I will give you one option and only one option. Surrender to me. And I won't kill you. And you work for the Hidden Leaf Village. No. You work for me. As they're like, what? You know, basically he says, yes, you heard me. You work for me or the Hidden Leaf Village. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't want to kill you. So that's my only option you're getting. Understand. As they all... Yeah, not they all, as, you know, they nod. So, Zabuza says, I, I understand. Uh, th th thank you, uh, he says, Naruto. Says, well, thank you, uh, Naruto, for, uh, letting us live. He goes, <laughs> consider it a blessing, as you will. For of how strong you are. But I do... Require you to get even stronger. That is another reason why I help well, sparing your life. So, let us be off then. As, hold on. Alright, so my parents were just yelling and I am putting my fan so that way none of you can hear them. But uh, yeah, so Zabala and Haku are part of the group. Alright, and I have no idea who to be the ship with. But it would not be Hanata. Don't ask why. Just let's see. It's. It just. Ugh. I just can't freaking stand it. And there's like way. I think there's like way too much of that. So. Or something. I don't know. But yeah. This is no Hanata ship. Nor Sakura. So. And all male characters are male. So. Yeah. I just want to say that. But anyways. So. They get to Zabza's house. Not, not Zabza, you know, comes with them to Tazana's house. As, you know, Tazana's grandson says all you ninjas are going to die and such. As Naruto just laughs. He goes, <laughs> uh, no one can kill me, kid. Nobody. I have power beyond anyone's recognition or reality of their mind. But I have killed more people than I should have. Or actually at all. And I don't regret what I did. But at the same time, I only regret one's death. I did, I did kill. But this was in another life. It does not need to be known just yet. As everyone shocked by this, because he looked... He just burst out laughing at his, you know, what he said. So he just asked him, so who died because, you know, who died to make you this way? 
as he explains about him, you know, I forget his name, but the guy that he looked up to, like a brother slash father figure, so, Naruto just tells him, life ends and life begins anew, just, here's the thing, Everyone will die at some point in time, but just keep their memories alive and they're still with you. That's all. So, which, he just, this kid just, you know, Kazuna's grandson just starts crying and all that. So yeah, so they start training while helping with the bridge building. Well, go well. You know Naruto, aka Goku Black, does. But since this is the first time he uh, is bringing building a bridge, he is taking his time to understand the make. You know how much work is done in this, so he gets a understanding of this that this is very hard. But also during their chakra training, you know Kakashi says he can't really train him, but he can at least help him with his taijutsu. As he just says, it's just martial arts, but yes, I would require a little bit more training. So, you know, they do sparring matches, he's going easy on him, and then he's increasing his, you know, his key and his strength during the fight. Kakashi you know, pulls out the his Sharingan, and they just start fighting off. Like, if he's going to the level of Kakashi where he thinks that he's at. Which Kakashi is being pushed back a little bit so that he like powers like powers down a little bit. But yeah, Kakashi is you know he's gonna get stronger in this one because of well not Goku black, so yeah. And then Zabaza trick well fights with him. He asked though, could like what can he do with that energy that's always a, that's around him when he transforms? He goes, Ah, my key. I can do a lot with it. Even create a sword. Because, you know, Zawasa says, show me. So he goes right to Rosé, and then you makes a, you know, blade out of key. And then he is able to grab it and then turn it into a scythe. He says, like this. It's very easy to manipulate and such. So Zawasa asks him to fight him. So they fight. Zawasa can really tell that this kid outmatches him by so much that... If he took him, if he, even if he took this kid seriously, this kid could just do circles around him with ease. So, and in a matter of minutes, he has a blade right to Zavaza's neck. He goes, and that's when your head would have been cut off. We're going to have to get you some gravity weights. He goes, what? Even Kakashi heard this in Haku. And Haku's like, gravity weights? What are those? And he just says, it's something that helps a person increase the gravity on their body. Basically, it's like wearing weighted clothing. It's very difficult at first. But since I'm used to getting hurt, and then healing, and then getting stronger from it, I do require my weight to be 10 times or 30 times stronger than an average human being. As he says, as Kakashi goes, how much weight do you have? He goes, 20 times. And it is still relative, you know, relative ease. I, better, I need to increase it by 5 or by 6 by now. And I just started this a lot, like, 2 months ago. And, you know, he's just, as he, you know, basically, he has the crowd wish shown. And then he says, 26. As it just they increased by 26 gravity. And he goes, okay, that's a lot more heavier, but still good. I still gonna be able to move, right? As you know, he just starts throwing punches and kicks in the air. He goes, yes, excellent. Still able to move, be moved freely. And then, you know, puts back on his shirt and such, and everyone's just shocked. And then he just tells Kakashi, you know, I won't be helping out with the bridge. I have some training I have to do. As he goes, what is it? He goes like, oh, just some training on my, well, it's hard to explain, but if my father didn't tell you to allow me, 
as he basically explains who he was before the entire Goku Black thing with the killing of massive like all humanity and stuff trying to kill them and then like how he has the memories of the, the body he stole was Goku's and his own and I heard about the tail in the same race and such. So he believes he can get the tail now. So he's going to try. He's going to try to get it. And Sukashi just says, uh, alright. So what happens is, you know, while everyone's still, like, helping out the version and working on the, I mean, working on their tree walking. Well, Sakura got with ease along with Sasuke a little bit. It did take him the same amount of time. Well, no, it took him a little bit less time. But, you know, they're taking their time with the birds and such. As basically what happens is, Naruto's in the forest. He has been in the forest for a couple of days now, meditating, looking within himself past the QB to go. to basically, like, try to accept that he is a Saiyan. He is a Kai. A god of creation. He is both. He accepts that what he did was wrong, but at the time when he thought it was right. He accepts that. That what he did was wrong, and but he does not regret it. He does not regret killing, trying to kill off humanity. He does regret killing his master. As, you know, he started to go deeper into thoughts, into his mind... As he finds the, you know, the Goku side of him. He goes, it's been a while, Goku. As, you know, basically, the old body of him, well, the, the Goku, you know, is in his mind. Look, basically, the image that he has has the same blood still as, like, you know, Goku and everything. So, you know, he still has Goku traits. He still has Zamasu traits. So, yeah. As Goku just looks at him, he goes, I already accepted what I did was wrong. Your body, your memories, even your will to have a still somehow lingering in your body did change my outlook. And now I became mortal. I realized it's harder than it looks for mortals. They adapt, they change, they always progress in life. So. I am ash somewhat ashamed of what I did because I killed my master in my conquest of the Zero Mortals or Killing All Mortals plan. But at the same time, I do not regret it. I am amazed and I am disgusted as I could at the same time by mortals. <laughs> it's funny. You were the most interesting of them all, and I took your body and killed you all. If I just watched you, learned from you, was trained by you even, I might have learned that mortals aren't all that bad. There are bad ones, there are crooked ones, there are gentle ones, kind ones, pure of heart, evil ones. I could have learned all of this from you. As he just looks at, you know, basically had his eyes closed when he said that. And his mind escaped, like, farther beyond his mind escapes to not the Nine Tails. As then he said, as then, like, Goku's walking over to him. As just then, like, when, you know, basically when Goku gets near him, he thinks, you know, <laughs> he's. Sorry about it, everyone. My mom did not knock. She just walked in. That's what my family does. They don't knock, they just walk in. Yeah, it was just about lunch, but anyways, so, you know, Goku walks over, and basically, if he passes right into Zamasu, his, you know, his, you know, Zamasu and Goku basically became fully one, finally, as then when he opens his eyes, he sees, he feels something weird, he feels something a part of him, a, a tail. He, th you know, he thinks it's the tail as he's you know basically moves it and he sees it he goes, it is 
until I actually have it. I was able to do it. You know, I was able to create it, or it was already a part of me. I just need to accept. I just need to be accepted by the genes of Goku. I still linger inside of it because I still have some of his personality. That feel for battle. That well to get stronger in that determination. It's not let something go so easily. As he gets up, he says, "Now then, there must be a weakness to this." And you know, he tests it out and such. And then, like, he, you know, does grab it and he feels, like, a lot weaker. He goes, ah, yes. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna have to try to get used to this. So, you know, a few days more passed. The bridge is almost done. Gato heard about, you know, basically the bridge is almost done and all. So he gets, like, getting there, like, very quickly. During this time, Naruto has trained his tail, like, trained his tail to not be affected by him when grabbing it. Along with him just be able to use it freely as another part of his body. So though, but he keeps it, he's keeping it wrapped around his, you know, waist. And keeping it underneath his shirt. And now since he, and then he also had learned that he can use his, you know, his god creation abilities, you know, his Kai abilities to create. He decides to... Make it more denser, way more harder to basically cut off, as such, and that he should should be able to make the sensu beans because they're very useful, as he saw through Goku's memories. So he decides though to go over to the bridge, well Tazuna's house. As then, he sees two men trying to take Tazuna's daughter and grandson. As he comes in, with just his bare hands, and just says, "You have no problem with killing." As he does, tell them though to close their eyes. As when they do, they just he don't hear nothing, no screams, nothing. But they do hear a plop. As he says, "Close your eyes, still." As he does grab both of the bodies, throw them over there along with their heads, and says, Be gone, scum, as he just uses a key blast to be sent flying towards them. And such. Okay, sorry, my eyes are just starting to be itchy and watery, so hold on. Alright, I'm back everyone, but you know, I apologize for that. <sighs> Don't know why my freaking eyes started to do a, be that way towards me, but anyways. So yeah, so... As he says, you can open them now. As they do, they don't see nothing but a little bit of, of blood there. As they go like, um, did you go? Yes, I killed them. But they were about to harm you. So, all fair, all fair say is, I have a right to do that. As he says, but I must be going now. Good day. And, you know, he just, well, I don't know, he doesn't say good day. He goes, I'm going to be at the bridge. You know, so, stay safe. As he just basically, char you know, does the whole time keep flying up in the air, but really quickly with the key and such. As they're shocked by this. So, Naruto gets there. You know, God, those men are there. Zabaza, you know, was about to get ready to, you know, go in and kill him. Haku's there. You know, Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sakura. As before, you know, Zabuza could even get, well, even go in and try to fight all the, you know, all the people. Naruto gets there. And he just, oh, he actually gets there and he goes, Ah, Zabuza, <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. You still need, there are way too many of them for you to even fight. So, allow me to do it, as... You know, he just starts floating down, you know, descending, as everyone's seen this. And he was like, what the? You know, Zabuza, like, Kaku saw what he did. Everyone with Kakashi, Tazuna, Sake, Sasuke, and Sakura. But, you know, God's men doesn't. And he goes, how is he? As when he lands, he goes, so you must be the infamous Gato, huh? <laughs> I, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. And I'm gonna 
Well, as once one man once said, well, actually all beings of destruction said, when there is creation, there is destruction. But when there is destruction, there is creation. I just added that last part. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of nice. Because all you're going to be destroyed. And I'm going to create you coming back to life and such. No, 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 no. And they created like... I mean, they created everything. I mean, they created like... You know, like God's a creation. So they should be able to... Kaiki, so yeah, so he's able to like create people. I'm saying he's able to bring create people again, like, but at the same time, he can only do it to a certain number because it takes way too much key, which he has a lot of it actually. So you know, got those men saying, like, <laughs> we can take you, kid. As then he just transforms to Rose and has a scythe, he just makes a scythe immediately out of key. He goes, Oh, I'm going to enjoy getting rid of you mortals. As he just dashes forwards, and all of them just run at him. Out of well, no, they all just try to run away out of here. As then, all of a sudden, in a couple seconds, everyone is all Gado's men are dead, and then even Gado himself. What? What? What are? As then, you know, head gets cleared off. And he goes, "I am someone that you should never mess with, or should have messed with." <laughs> now, be gone. As he just kicks Gato's body up into the air, hitting that along with the head, going flying with it. As he just, just you know does exactly the same thing he did to the two other guys, which Tazuna is kind of terrified, but at the same time even shocked by this. The Nine Tails have been watching him. He is shocked by this. Zawaza saying, "I am glad I never fought him." Like you know. I never thought I took that, that you know, that offer, along with Haku saying the exact same thing. Sakura and Sasuke are like, I'm glad he's my teammate. So you know he helps finish out the bridge by making more clones of himself, and yeah, so they name it the Great Naruto Bridge. And he smiles at this. He goes, Hmm, maybe it is a good thing I not destroy mortals. I do like the recognition, at least. You know, so they thank him and all. He says, It was no problem, but we need to find his place so that we can get all your money back because you know, you're about to town. So Zamazo says, I know where it is. Follow me. So they all, instead of going to the Hidden Leaf Village, they all go to Gato's place, which wasn't really that far, like a two hour like walk. But for them running, it was like an hour and three minutes. So they just get all the money that they. They just keep on doing this for like two hours. Well, with Naruto around, he says he can do it in a matter of an hour, a second or so. So he makes more clone. He makes basically the clones of himself about five of them, plus him six. So he gets all the money back in a matter of second. Well, not seconds, a matter of minutes. And they all thank him again. He says there's no troubles, and you know all the clones go back in. So you know come back to him, and then he leaves. Along with everyone else. And so. He then like tells them. We don't have to walk. And so what. So they said just hold on to him. I have a technique I can use to get back to the Hidden Leaf Village. So they all just touch him. And he focuses on. You know. Minotos. Well reading. You know basic key. Chakra. And then he says. Got it. And then boom. He appears right in front of Minato, well, in the in the Hokage's office, as everyone's sort of like, what, what was that? And basically, as you know, Minato says, ah, you're here. Says, yep, mission was complete. Also, this is Zabaza hit, you know, the demon in the mist, and this is Haku. He knows this as she, because he's been talking, he talked to her, so, you know, she's a good ninja. She can be a good ally, you know, basically they both can be good allies for him your father as then you know Zawaza and Haku hears this they go wait father you mean you're the the fourth Hokage son yes yes I am and then they ask can, can you do the transformations like him basically that's all Zawaza and Haku just ask he says no but it's weird 
I don't ever know in the the basically <laughs> the Namikaze or Uzumaki's be able to do this. As you know, basically just says I've I've been looking at this for years as soon as I found this out, but eh, I lost it, so I just don't mind it anymore. Cause you know, basically, cause <laughs> this kid's this kid's nuts. Basically, that's what Zabuza says out loud. So you know, they gave the mission details and such, and which was, which you know, Minato kind of thought they couldn't afford it, so it was understandable. And that way he knew, you know, his son could handle this. All by himself, actually, if he wanted to. And then he says, oh, yeah. As then he says, I got a tail. As he shows the monkey tail. Which everyone is shocked even a minute. So he goes, what the? He goes, and I believe I can, well, unlock more of my power. So, for a whole entire month, I'm going to train. As they say, but the, you know, as Minato says, but the Chuni exams are coming up. He goes, Oh, then I definitely have the train. I'll make it less than that. About three weeks. And then I'll help out Na Nakara with her training. <laughs> she even allows me to. So, yeah. So, that's, you know, what happens. You know, gosh, they all, like, but, you know, Manito does say, like, no matter what, you, I recommend you guys doing the tuning exam, so... Oh, and plus, if you don't know this, um, since, you know, Naruto and Sasuke were on the team, you know, see so other Sasuke has been training with Naruto, and because of the tense, like, fighting that they've done, and Sasuke, like, trying to, like, defeat Naruto, he has unlocked the two Tomoe Sharingan, you know, bo in both eyes, and technically, he's gonna be training with Naruto for this month, as just Naruto. Can I, you know, train with you again? He goes, sure. Why not? I could use a good sparring partner. Even though I've been holding back against you the whole entire time and all. Which I am not sorry for doing. Which, he has a little grin when he said that. Because he knows how powerful he is. And he's not afraid to show it. So, Sasuke just says, <laughs> It doesn't matter. Someday I will catch up to you with Chakra. You know, strip and all that. And I will beat you. And he says, sure thing, Sasuke. Sure thing. And so, you know, they basically all signed the papers, and the next day, Sasuke and Naruto train. Uh, during this time period, Sasuke's in pissed and fed up, as then he activates the third Tomoe Sharingan. As then, you know, he knows Sasuke's in a little bit faster. And so, but he's been training a lot in his base form. So, he's a lot faster too, and all. And so, you know, but... He starts to feel even a little bit more power, you know, in it, in his fist. So as he realizes, he stops right in front of Sasuke's face. As then all of a sudden, a shockwave happens, and Sasuke is sent flying. As he basically, you know, does the disappearing act, catching Sasuke. He goes, like, are you alright? He goes, I'm fine, but, ah, that wind pressure. He goes, <laughs> my bad. And if you're wondering about Itachi, um, you know... He has trained Sasuke, but he sees Naruto training him also. And he got the first Tomoe with training with, you know, with, with no, Sasuke got the first Tomoe with Itachi. Second was with Naruto, third Tomoe again with Naruto. So, yes. Anyways, um, you know, so this happens for about a uh, couple of weeks and such. As he does, like, t I mean, a couple of days and such, as Naruto says, go train with your brother, because you gotta unlock your third Tomoe, so that way you get more proficient in it. And he says, alright. So, Naruto decides to go deeper into the woods, to be left alone. As then, he starts to focus, he starts feeling something. Something else is within him. Something even greater. A power he, he never felt before. So, he, he's starting to, like, feel that power when he's, like, just trying to charge his key up. He feels it more and more and more. As then he just starts screaming, uh, scream and power it up as he goes to third, you know, first. No, 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 this is, like, in the middle of the night. He's, he's basically training 
He's basically training until the middle of the night, where the full moon's out. Yes, this has never happened. He has never transformed into a grape ape, but he's doing it now because of I, I need him to. So, you know, basically, as Naruto, you know, well, starts to train and all, you know, in the middle of the night, such as, you know, he starts feeling a power within him. It's getting bigger, you know, basically, it's becoming like a lot more intensified. It wants to burst. As then he looks at the... Basically the moon. As then he says, What the? What's happening? As he starts to transform into the... Ara uh, Asaru? Arazu? Yeah, the, the great ape. The great ape form. Which everyone notices and hears. Like, in woke him in the middle of the night. But it's golden. As, you know, he is like somewhat going on a little bit. Not on a rampage. You know, he's just like moving around. And like gets a feel for this. And then all of a sudden... The power is getting bigger and overwhelming him. As then all of a sudden, he starts roaring out as, you know, keys start to go around him and lightning. And then he starts to get smaller. He starts to get smaller and smaller until he has red, you know, red and long black hair with his tail. And, it's, you know, his, basically his um clothing is like his, basically the jacket is on without the shirt underneath it and he's just sitting smiling like <laughs> so what is this and then all of a sudden he hears a familiar voice saying ah Zomitsu I presume as then he goes Lord Beerus you know he he basically says why are you here he goes well Whis told me about Something interesting happened. You made a wish to be revived into a new dimension of reality. So we asked Grand Zenzu, wait, Grand Zenzu, that Zenzu, Zenzu, if we can travel here to see your progress and see if the mortals are fine. Which we even brought Goku and Vegeta with us. And so it is after you know, the great the you know, tournament power and such. So, you know, Goku says, Yo, Zamasu! You know, Vegeta just scoffs at him. And they see the tail and this form and such. And they go, Wait, is that really you? He goes, I've been living as a mortal for about 12 years now. And your, how should I say, the sin, my sin DNA from your body along with my Kai powers slash DNA came along with me to this new form. Basically, I become even more powerful. As you know, they see the tail and such and go like as Vegeta goes, how did you he goes by the by basically the old side of Goku, the one that came with me, accepted me as it's how should I say? The body's wielder instead of rejected me, tried to influence me, like it did. And as they go, oh, by the way, were you the one who wished for? As he smiles, says yes. We consider it a payback. That was well due. All the lives I've taken, I do accept that I did, but I do not regret it. But taking my master's life, which he probably came back to life. So, I do not re So, I'm happy for that, at least. As Goku says, Let's spar! You know, basically, just like saying, I'm gonna spar with you now, see how strong you are. As he goes, <laughs> Goku, this world cannot handle our power. It's basically like Earth, but a little bit more weaker since no one has key. So, basically, Whis says, Allow me to fix that. As then a dome appears around them. And Macy says, now you can fight to your heart's content. Only this arrow will be destroyed. As Zamasu says, as you wish. And Whis, was it? He says, yes, thank you. I've been itching for a real fight for the longest time now. As he gets into a battle stance, as Goku you know, transforms into a Super Saiyan, he goes, go blue. You'll need it for this power. 
as he goes, <laughs> all right. So he transforms into Super Saiyan Blue as Vegeta feels the immense power coming from you know, Zamasu, aka Goku Black. You know. So, you know, when Goku and him start fighting, they could. Beerus can already tell Zamasu's power is immense, even stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, here's the reason why it is the true power of the Super Saiyan. Also, he's been training with his natural body. He does not transform in his training. He does not rely on that to get stronger. He relies on his natural body. And this is still without him using the weights on. But Goku, you know, he feels the immense power coming off him. And power level-wise, he is stronger than Goku. Alright, just want to say that. But yeah, so basically though, they are telling that Zamasu is stronger than Goku, but for some weird reason, his... He's being pushed back. He's being hit. He's being like taken down very easily. As he just smiles, goes, <laughs> ah, "This is fun. It's been the longest time since I fought someone like you, Goku." As Goku says, "Stop holding back against me." He goes, <laughs> "You always could tell when someone was holding back." As he basically does, like. Does like a crosses his arms, as then multiple seal like multiple like tattoo marks coming off of his body start to glow as it says release. As all of a sudden, a big massive wave of key coming in off of him. As Goku said, "What the?" As he goes, huh. "I was wearing weights the whole entire time of my childhood, ever since I was eight years old. It increased and I increased it every single time." I got stronger with it. So, let's see how powerful you are, Goku. And then he just disappears immediately, and with a key punch, he sends a fist right to Goku's stomach, sending him flying, basically. And when he does, Goku's flying all the way to the edge of the dome. He hits it, and then Goku Black just says, Here's one of your own attacks! As he says, Ka. Man, ha, I'm just doing it. Sorry, I have to. Ha, man, ha, and just like you know, basically shoots it. You know, shoots the Kamehameha at Goku. As for some weird reason, it looks a little bit. It looks red and a lot more powerful. As Goku does a Kamehameha too, and it was barely near him as he's trying to push back. As you know, he says. As Vegeta says, how strong has Zamasu has become? And then he basically says, is that all you got, Goku? As he's pushing himself, be, you know, push, Goku's pushing himself to the limits. Basically, again. As he says, not yet. You know, basically he says, I'm not gonna go down like this yet. As then he starts pushing him back, Zamasu's Kamehameha, until they both explode. And... Zamasu smiles. He says, huh, that is all. And then he detransforms. He goes back into the form that he looks like. It looks like Naruto. He goes, what the? He goes, what? You really think I was going to look like you? No. I was reincarnated, so I don't look like you at all. I am, how should I say this in this world, called Naruto Uzumaki. The fourth Hokage's son. So, yes. A very skilled, powerful, and people treat me like a monster because I have something within me that I have been talking to, becoming good friends with. So, yes, Goku, I am powerful. I am dangerous, but I have not killed mortals. I despise them still, though. But I have a strange respect for them, like I had with you. I do not hate them to the point where I do not kill them. I can tolerate them. And I actually have a sister. Who is annoying, but I feel a sense of caring for her. Compassion and love. So, like with my family, I do not hate them. As Goku says, wow, that's uh, kind of amazing, Zamasu. He goes, Naruto. Uh, Naruto. <laughs> so... He puts his tail back in, like, around him. You know, 
and Weiss asked to ask him, could you still use your rosé form? He says, yes, including my godly key. Well, my god of creation, basically. That's a Kai. So he just, like, touches the ground, because most of the ground was, like, destroyed and such. I forgot to mention, uh, they did cause, like, a lot of damage. As then he puts his hand onto the ground, as then all of a sudden, he puts out his key, you know, into it. And all the ground is starting to get fixed. The trees are starting to be regrown and make new ones, as the old trees are starting to grow back roots and such. And as he goes, ha, ah, perfect. Whis is impressed by this, so is Beerus. He says, huh, we should get God Destruction here to keep an eye on you. As he says, do not worry, I will not cause havoc on this planet, nor in this dimension. And besides, the gods cannot come here. It's only by special permission of the great Zenisu, we not Zenisu, Zenos. Oh god, I think I say Zenitsu. Frick, I meant Zenos. Zeni, you know. Great Zenos. Ugh. I have a problem with remembering names. I hate myself for that. So, anyways. Beard's not. He says, we'll be back in a month's time. And I'll have to fight you to see how strong you really are. And so, you know, basically the whole entire portal opens. He sees the Grand Priest. And he sees his old master. Gwant. Gwant. Oh, give me a minute. I need to remember his. I need to see his name. Let me butcher his name, but Gawas. G-O-W-U-S-E. Gawas. Gawas. Goes. Um, but anyways, so yeah, as he smiles and bows to his master, says, Thank you for all the teachings that you have given me. As he sees Zenitsu being like, I mean, not Zenitsu, Zen Zenos, not Zenos. <sighs> Give me a minute now, my brain can't think right. As then he sees Zamasu being different, as he smiles and says, I'm glad you have, you know, met your peace. And then the portal closes with, you know, everything going back. And basically Minato comes over and asks what happened. Along with Kushina and, you know, Nakara. Along with Kakashi and most of the Jonis. As he explains what happens, you know, Nakara says, you know, that's impossible to stop relying you. You know, you free. As then, you know, he pulls out the, he just has the tail. And then he says, hmm, really? Be lying. As then, he just laughs, says, <laughs> Dear sister, as then he transformed to rosé form, and the tails, you know, hairs, pink, pink, or light purple, pink, whatever, you know, rosé color. He goes, hmm, Did not ever mistake me for a liar. That I do not do. As he glares at her, she can feel, like, his hatred coming off him, but then he just stops it and smiles. He goes, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry for that. I have a temper. Still. So, he detransforms, puts away the tail, and says, It is late at night. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> so, that's all he does. He goes home and sleeps that night. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna, you know, stop right now. I hope you guys do like this what if. Anyways, bye everyone. Have a nice day or night.